first break in the six max event and really good start at first when i sat down i was like oh this might suck because i had maurice hawkins 10-time ring winner right to my left and he's pretty aggressive and we were playing five-handed but he's no longer with us i didn't take him out some other guy did and uh, now the landscape of the table has totally changed and it's now fully in my favor um <laughs> So yeah, it's gonna be a good day. I got a good feeling. I'm thinking Bink even though I'm not wearing a shirt. And let's take it one hand at a time. Double with king four spades. Thank you. Second break in the six max, and I am steadily building. I got like 32K going to the 600 big blind. My table is still awesome. Um, <laughs> I'm feeling great, and to add to the good vibes that I already had surrounding this day because it's six max and we're in the new room that I love compared to the masquerade where we've been playing the last four or five days. Um, my mom sent me a text and said that my cousin Nina is in labor, and that's not just like any labor. Quick backstory, she had a daughter, Ella, nine years ago that was premature, and doctors didn't think she was gonna make it to her second or third birthday and now she's nine and we just went and saw her first communion so anytime that there's a big event for Ella the whole family gets together and needless to say this is a huge event because this is Nina's second child which no one ever thought she was gonna have another kid and now another little blessing is about to come into the world so not that that has anything to do with poker it's just making me feel better right now and uh, I'm gonna go do this one for the fam it feels like that'd be awesome to say that I banked the tournament on the day that she was in labor <laughs> let's go Whew. Another huge double. This guy with the nuts again. That was pretty coolish. 36,000 even. He had all the hands. We made it to dinner break. Woo! Me and Mikey. Yeah! And some for, oh, Jesse made it too. Look I at Jesse. It, I Jesse. Made it. I got like 84,000. Me too. We got an hour break. Oh, and her. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to leave you out. <laughs> we got an hour break. Just ordered some sushi. And uh, coming back to the 800, 1600 big blind. It's gonna be pretty fun though. I got the guy I'm staying with slash my student Jeff right to my left. So it's gonna be uh, quite an experience. Jeffrey looks so serious. <laughs> Not a good last hour, but I'm still in. I just get it in with aces versus queens again and lose. And it was versus Jeffrey. He was in the small blind. I look down at an ace with 12 bigs on the button. I shove, he reshoves. I'm like, oh, uh, I only looked at one. And then I had aces. And he's like, no way, no way you only looked at one. And I even did like a little pre-celebration. And right after I did the pre-celebration, I was like, oh God, I should have did that. Here it comes. Sure enough, queen right on the flop. I don't know what's going on outside, but man, it's really loud out here. So anyway, on to the next one. I got a Long Island. I feel a little better. Now I'm gonna go watch the NBA playoffs and try to forget about it. Cheers. Never in my life did I imagine it be. More brutality in poker. It's crazy. I don't even want to put the bad vibes in this video, but two bullets down in today's 365, no bueno. So I'm going to get some food and then I'm gonna hop in the nightly because they're adding a main event seat and it's a Friday night. I feel like it'll be good value and things have been going pretty bad. So I feel like a smaller buy-in might be better to kind of like flip things around or I don't know. We're just gonna go have fun. It's a Friday night in New Orleans. I got a Long Island. Um, you know, probably be like three or four K for first and it should be fun and that's what counts because this trip has not been fun poker wise But eventually it's gonna be whether it's this one or leading into the main event something I feel like imagine getting a bink today and then going into the main event with at least a little momentum So that's the goal. Here we go it's a Pretty decent start Johnny yeah. made it to the table and you made it Let's go! We've been trying to play together all trip. We got some big bink races going on over here. Wow, we got the whole table thing. Oh, he's trying to cover it up. <laughs> we got another one. Wow, we got the whole table over here. Oh, and another one. Another one. 
I'm just trying to get the bracelet, that's all. <laughs> Wee! Dante, where's yours? Do you have one? What? Your bracelet. Oh, wow, Alright, I got you. <laughs> just had a blast in the nightly, but then they blasted me out of that tournament. <laughs> it got a little crazy. They skip a lot of levels, and even though you start with 12,000 chips, it was uh, pretty crap shooty. So I had fun. I gave out literally like 15 Think Think bracelets. I got a few new subscribers to the YouTube channel, so it was a successful night, even though not profitable. Uh, and I'm still in New Orleans on a Friday, so I'm gonna go meet my friend Jeff, get a couple drinks, go listen to some live music, and then get a good night's sleep before the main event tomorrow. That's all I can do. Cheers.